It's time to check in on the livestock markets with our livestock marketing specialist, Dr. Daryl Peel. And Daryl, the USDA released their October cattle on feed report, and there were quite a few surprises in there. So let's walk through them. Yeah, you, this report uh, for October showed that uh, placements in September were uh, up 6%, 106% of last year. They were expected to be up on a year over year basis, but not up that much. So that was a surprise. Marketings for September came in at 89% of last year. They were expected to be down, but this was a little bit more uh, than expected. So the combination of bigger placements and lower marketings meant that the October 1 cattle on feed number was actually up almost 1% uh, on a year over year basis. So that's the first increase in cattle, uh, cattle on feed inventories that we've seen in the last year. So what was the reason for those in increased placements? Well, I think there's several things going on. Uh, you know, probably drought still playing a part of it. Uh, so probably some cattle were moving a little bit earlier than expected. And that may be a timing issue where they just won't be there later, but they came in earlier. But I think part of it is just the fact that markets have been so strong, we're up so much on a year over year basis. Producers are taking advantage of that, particularly if they're not quite convinced this is gonna continue uh, they're really wanting to take advantage of the market, so they went ahead and, and uh, sold uh, feeder cattle uh, earlier than usual, perhaps. There was also a quarterly, quarterly report about steers and heifers, so what did that tell us? So we've been anxious to see this uh, heifer on feed number in particular. Um, at some point, we expect to see that come down. We've been watching for at least a year, uh, but it didn't. Uh, in fact, heifers on feed in the October report were up from not only from July, but up slightly on a year-over-year -year basis. And so that makes heifers on feed 40% uh, of the total feedlot inventory right now. That's the highest level that we've had uh, as a percentage of feedlot inventories for heifers since 2001. So we've still got a lot of heifers on feed and uh, clearly it means that we're marketing most females at this point. So what are the short and long-term implications of all that information? Well, you know, the, the fact that the cattle on feed inventory went back up a little bit, the placements were bigger than expected, so the market reacted bearishly in the short run to that. It means that feedlot supplies are going to be a little bigger than previously expected here for the next few months uh, working through those. However, the longer term implications, I think, are very bullish for the cattle industry simply because of this female situation. When you combine with the heifers on feed, heifer slaughter uh, that comes from that, uh, and the continued relatively strong levels of beef cow slaughter, uh, it's, it's very clear that this industry is still liquidating females. Uh, and, you know, the, the beef cow herd inventory will be down on January 1, uh, 2024. Uh, and so any rebuilding that we're going to do has not started yet and uh, will be delayed. It's going to take longer. That means we're going to be in this tight supply situation for even longer. Now, you mentioned drought earlier in that report. So as we can see, it's raining right now and it's been really dry. How is this, you know, this widespread rainfall that Oklahoma is expecting to get? Is there going to be any impact at all for the dual purpose wheat that was planted? It very well might. Uh, we're looking to get substantial rain across a large chunk of Oklahoma, including uh, areas that grow wheat for winter grazing. Uh, it's going to be late, pretty clearly. Uh, but we, this, you know, this may be the, the rain event that uh, gets us some wheat pasture. And so that'll provide a little more support for these stocker markets. Alrighty, thanks, Daryl. Dr. Daryl Peel, Livestock Marketing Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.